in general, the lighter an element is, the more common it is in the universe, with hydrogen making up most of the elemental matter in the universe. The rest of the matter is mainly created when lighter elements are fused together in the heart of a star. This fusion process in stars creates relatively large amounts of the lighter elements, up to the creation of iron. At this point, due to the energy needed to create iron and the heavier elements, the larger stars only have a brief time before going supernova in which they create much heavier elements. This means that those elements that are heavier than iron only represent a tiny fraction of all the mass of the elements in the universe. However, Given this, there are some light elements which are far rarer than one might expect. These are lithium, beryllium and boron. Now, on a universal scale, these elements have a similar rarity to the precious metals, platinum, gold and silver. However, platinum has the atomic number of 78, gold 79 and silver 47. Whereas lithium has the atomic number 3, Beryllium 4 and boron 5. So why then these elements are so light that they together represent less than one billionth of all the mass in the universe? Well, it's actually down to what happens when you fuse things together in the heart of a star. The result of the fusion process does depend to a certain extent on what material you actually start with. However, can also be a limited number of ways that the items can be fused together. Since these elements are so light, the only lighter elements are hydrogen and helium. So to create lithium, beryllium and boron by fusion, you need some combination of hydrogen and helium to be fused together to create them. Now this fusion is possible, but only on a temporary basis. The forms or isotopes of these elements that are created in this way are highly unstable and rapidly decay back to their original ingredients. Instead, the first stable heavy element that can be created by stellar fusion is carbon, with two helium atoms fusing together to form an unstable beryllium-8, which is added another helium to create stable carbon-12. So if these light elements can't be created by stellar fusion, how did they actually get here? This is down to process called spallation. The term comes from the word spall. Now if you take a large heavy metal sheet and hit it with a large metal hammer, there will be tiny metal flakes which zoom off from the metal sheet in many different directions. These flakes are known as spall and the process of creating them is known as spallation. And it's a similar process that's responsible for creating the elements lithium, beryllium and boron. Of course, in creating elements, you don't use a metal hammer. Instead, you need cosmic rays. These forms of high-energy radiation have a raw power to basically crack open some of the slightly heavier elements in our universe. And most of this cracking of the nucleus probably took place well before our solar system was even formed. However, without it, these elements would be unlikely to be present even in the tiny proportions that they are. Certainly, life on Earth would look considerably different there are no boron around, so it's essential to the formation of plant cell walls.